This week on First News, we are going to explore social media and your kids. Yeah, and really, the rules apply anytime your child or teen wants to go on the internet. The key mom and dad monitor everything. Mary Osler is a mother of four kids, ages 7 to 13. She doesn't mess around when it comes to her kids and getting online. All passwords have to be in my possession. Uh, they don't have free access to the internet, it's, it's supervised. Uh, their cell phones are turned in at night. Jacob, the oldest, got his first cell phone when he was 11. His younger brother, a year ago when he turned 10. They understand the rules. We do have internet restrictions. And I think that benefits us because there's a lot of bad things out in the world right now. I needed to ask and get permission before I got an app, and I also needed to um, be responsible on it and not be looking at a lot of stuff on YouTube. Detective Ben Iverson with the La Vista Police Department says parents can set up limits and restrictions on social media and apps. That also allows me to set what programs on the computer she's allowed to see too. So she uh, she can't use the camera. She can't use the webcam. I can block her out from all those things. Back at the Osler home, they also follow Iverson's recommendation of kids using the devices supervised. Keep the family computer in the living room or kitchen and don't worry about what others think. I hear a lot that I'm overprotective, that's <laughs> but I think I'm doing my job if, if that's what I'm hearing. Well, cell phones, iPads, and laptops are all great for leverage. The kids need punishment. Take away the devices. That sounds like a good punishment. Well, Tuesday on First News, we talked to a family that dealt with cyberbullying. You'll want to hear how you can help to avoid that happening in your family.